السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام بيت بليز انتروديوس يور سيلف تو اس سو ماي نيم از بير جميل حسين اي بلونج تو تحصيل مورو ديستريكت نوشر اوف فروز اوف سند اي واز بورن ريزد ان غوت ماي ايلي ايجوكيشن ذير افتر ورس اي وينت تو حيدرآباد فار ماي هاير ايجوكيشن As soon as I completed my intermediate there, I got admission in Sakhar I V University on fully funded scholarship for four years. During my university life, I participated in extracurricular activities to groom my personality. The most important one was volunteership program in Move. It was known as Move, in which we were given a task to go to the areas nearby Sakhar and specifically to the schools. for career counseling of children in addition to that i was part of different teams which participated in different activities like blood donation camps and floral exhibitions having said that when it comes to my values i stick to the idea of positivism then consistency and in addition to that i also believe in hard work having said that after completion of my degree I went for the civil services examination, and this was my first attempt that I qualified. Thank you, sir. Give us the profile of your district, Nushar of Firoz. Sure, sir. So, district Nushar of Firoz was uh, amalgamated into a division of Sakhar firstly, and then it was changed into Benazir Abad, Shahid Benazir Abad district division in 2011. It has five tehsils. Number one, Moro, then Bheria, Kandiaro, then Nosher for itself, and Merapur. And I belong to Tehsil Moro. After that, there, according to census of 2017, there are around 1.6 million people live in District Nosher of Firoz. In addition to that, District Nosher of Firoz is primarily an agrarian-based district, where crops like wheat, sugarcane. and mangoes are also sown and this was my and there are four provincial assembly seats from my district and two national assembly seats yes sir you police was being governed under uh, previously under police act 1861 under what law now police is being governed sir since uh, 2002 that that has been the police act 2002 that is uh, uh, following all the provinces that is being followed by all provinces but after 18th amendment there have been changes to different uh, laws and acts that every province has its own police laws specifically when it comes to sindh sindh is following 2002 but it has amended it in 2011 so this was this is the law now how different is this law from the Police Act, eighteen sixty one. That is, Police Act. You mean Police Order two thousand two? Yes, sir. You are talking about Police Order. So how different it is from that uh, previous uh, Police Act of eighteen sixty one? As far as my humble knowledge in this regard, I would say this Act, uh, Police Order two thousand and two, has decentralized the idea of police policing. It has given more powers to the provinces. is compared to earlier 1861 other than that i have limited knowledge on this uh, area so i would you should be doing it by heart because psp is your second choice short sure, survival mean. <laughs> what does bri mean so bri sir so bri stands for belt and road initiative that is being initiated by china and uh, one of the projects that china is has implemented in pakistan is that of cpec cpec is of paramount importance for china when it comes to bri no what does first tell us what does bri mean belt and road what does it mean yes sir sir belt and road initiative is actually an amalgamation of different infrastructural uh, programs that is uh, initiated by china to boost to boost its economy around the world it has different sections and carried corridors that is connected through seas either seas or through road infrastructure around the world so this is basically the idea of 
economic boost, boom from China. Has CPEC really proved its worth for the people of Pakistan? Sir, when it comes to uh, the CPEC's worth for people of Pakistan, since it is in early stages in, uh, right now, it has started only in 2013 and it has not been completed till yet. So it will, it is uh, difficult to comment on such thing that it has benefited since till now or not. But having uh, the proficient pro uh, projects in CPAC, it is hopeful that it will be beneficial for people of Pakistan and specifically for people of Balochistan. Why did the system of democracy miserably failed in our country? So system of democracy has not been uh, dem uh, failed in our country. Rather, it is, it is also, since Pakistan is a nascent state, it has not even passed 100 years of its, uh, after its independence. Having said that, there are various uh, challenges in the uh, way of democracy that is hindering the true essence of democracy in Pakistan. For example, the unconstitutional role of uh, military throughout the history has been very much difficult for, for, the for the boom of democracy. In addition to that, since these last days, if we see the democratic system in our country, it is actually a true essence of democracy that has uh, happened in parliament. But parliament is has not been proven that effective when it comes to Pakistan. So considering these challenges, the different challenges, the democracy is progressing, but it has not failed till now. Welcome to CSP's Academy for CSS PMS preparation. CSS PMS Tehreeri Imtihan ke tamam mazameen ki online or on campus tayari ke saath saath subject selection, assignment checking, class test, mock exam, individual teacher discussion or feedback session ka inakaab kiya jayega. Iske alawa FPSC ki tajweez karda books se bane maari notes aur CSP publisher ki behtereen books mohaiya ki jayengi. Register now at 0316-570-1593. Okay. What role is assigned to the Council of Common Interest? So, Council of Common Interests basically is a forum under constitution in which all the provincial chief ministers along with the Prime Minister of Pakistan sits together and they decide things which are mentioned in uh, part 2 of, section, uh, of uh, chapter 4 of the constitution. Uh, basically those things that have that are not consensusly uh, been resolved, that are brought into the, uh, into the uh, Com Council of Common Interest. Along with that, after 18th Amendment, since there are devolving of uh, different subjects, so the, if there are issues on certain uh, subjects, for example, education, the policy of education, that can be resolved during, uh, through the Council of Common Interest. So the, this is the basic work of common, uh, Council of Common Interest that it develops the consensus among all provinces. In the last uh, meeting of this council, it was decided that was uh, during Mr. Imran Khan's yes, government. It was decided that next election, general election will not be held without uh, conduct of new census. It was decided by all the provinces. Yes, sir. But now, uh, Every uh, there is uh, uh, particularly the opposition. The Mr. Imran Khan wants that elections should be held without due regard to what was decided in that meeting. How do you see it? So it it was a, a problem at that time, but since consensus uh, since consensus uh, census has been started right now. It has uh, moved to a digital census rather and uh, after census there would be a new, uh, uh, there could be a chance that all the provinces along with the opposition should uh, 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 should accept the fact that uh, the uh, election should be held after the census. But keeping in view the current scenario, it is uh, actually not uh, up to the mark that should have been happened. But uh, that has been not in there. That has not been happening. Accounting and auditing. 
what is pre audit so pre audit happens when before the actual audit it, it actually uh, when the auditors are the independent uh, uh, persons come to the organizations and uh, for the audits and they actually view all the auditing procedures that are already being implemented in the uh, organization that is pre audit so in my humble knowledge that is pre audit i will look into it further sir pre audit is something different if we have pre audit then why we have post audit so post audit uh, if you allow me to guess post audit happens when uh, after the audit uh, actually audit, audit happens and uh, it happens uh, if and uh, so it, it um, i i have limited knowledge to that i will look into it sir good Peer Jamil Hussain. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me something about what is a peer and what is its impact on society? Ma'am, peer is basically a title that is given to certain people whom other people follow. This has been uh, this has a great impact when I mean, when it comes to the Islamization or the spread of Islamic values, but. Uh, when it comes to my name the uh, p jamil hussain it is basically um, the title that is given by my family and now people do not follow me as an individual it was my grandfather uh, up till them uh, up till him people used to follow them but we have uh, since we have uh, shifted to other arenas of the world for example we have been indulged into the educations uh, and uh, into the jobs so we have limited time to guide the people hence we do not when people do not follow me as an individual but i am asking about the institution of peer on the society yes ma'am ma'am peer uh, has an impact on society in a way that uh, those people specifically who are not literate they follow them and they uh, the peers and peer give them peers give them the uh, education regarding the islam and regarding to the contemporary education as well so this has a uh, impact on their literacy level i would say join csps we are we believe that your dreams are our mission so let us be your partners in this transformative journey as we equip you with knowledge confidence and resilience required to emerge as css stoppers contact us on our given whatsapp number 03165701593 or visit our website www.csps.com.pk one of your favorite personalities is elon musk yes ma'am um elon musk is a very controversial character can you give your views on this remark that i have made ma'am when it comes to the controversial uh, facts of elon musk that is uh, one of his personal uh, characteristics but uh, why i follow him is because of his professional life lifestyle and since the start of the, his professional lifestyle he has uh, the propensity to try and try again and that thing actually uh, attracted me is and i have chosen him as a favorite personality you also do surfing on internet uh what is your view on elon musk's uh, decisions after buying twitter yes ma'am elon musk after buying twitter has has actually uh, uh giving given power to free speech according to him all the people around the world have have a uh, right to express their views on the twitter and this is a platform where all and every all and sundry can uh, express his views so i think he has given more power to free speech regarding uh, after buying twitter but he also made uh, you know a certain fee yes ma'am when it comes to the fees it is basically for the authentication of accounts it is backfired yes ma'am and he again actually uh, has implemented that policy firstly he gave when he uh, came up with an idea there were fake accounts Of which were actually authenticating themselves and creating mess for the big businesses around the world, but when it after rethinking the decision, he uh, backfired that decision. 
but when he uh, again he has imposed such a decision in a way that twelve dollars will be now charged from people who are basically organizations and there will be verification change in color of the verification of those people those organizations who are basically authenticated organizations so that will actually impact the whole organizations around the world uh, what is hybrid warfare when hybrid warfare when it comes to hybrid warfare it is a contemporary warfare in which uh, different uh, uh, acts are done by the people for example earlier there was only Fifth, earlier there was only uh, uh, the wars with the kinetic wars. I mean to say, now kinetic and non-kinetic wars are combinedly uh, acted in this hybrid warfare. So this is actually a new new fronts and new arenas are found where hybrid uh, kind of wars are being held. What is the difference between finance and economics? When it comes to finance, it deals only with the financial matters or uh, where the uh, the matters pertaining to the money and finance. And when it comes to economics, it is basically amalgamation of different things. It uh, deals with the needs, wants and uh, factors of production of the uh, economy. So this is uh, an umbrella term under which finance can be one of the uh, part of it. Thank you so much, Peer Jameel. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Peer Jameel. Yes, sir. Uh, if from today uh, you are appointed as Finance Minister of Pakistan, what would be your priorities to fix the current economic crisis in Pakistan? So, when it comes to current economic problems, there are basically two major problems that Pakistan is facing right now. One is twin deficits, and other is debt. So, having considering this situation it is very much necessary to look upon these issues. Now, how can we look upon these issues? Number one would be to reduce the trend deficits. How? How? And this is the major question. Since trend deficit is basically uh, when it comes to the uh, exports and imports, so we have very limited exports at this point in time. And there are many hiccups when it comes to the policies regarding the exports. So first task would be to improve the exports by formulating such policies by incentivizing the people to exports to uh, grow the export so and what kind of facilitation you will provide to the exporters okay, sir. tell me any three one two three sir uh, the first one would be those who would export more they would have less less taxation minimal uh, minimal taxation at initial stages and after after a certain limit the taxation would be increased and number two when it comes to the uh, idea of red tapism that should be reduced and that is a major hurdle in uh, today's time and when it comes to a uh, third point i cannot recall the third point but these are the two major points what was one unit and its implication on east pakistan okay sir. So one unit was basically uh, a geographical distribution of Pak East and West Pakistan. It was basically division of East. It was considered as East Pakistan as a one unit and West Pakistan as a one unit. However, the impact on East Pakistan was that uh, they, they said that their, their population is huge, but their representation is not up, up to the mark in the assemblies. Hence, that was the major cause. One of the major causes that but there was uh, more representation of East Bengal in National Assembly. Yes, sir. But when it comes to the Senate, they they said that uh, if they uh, they are not given proper, if they are not given the major, uh, major seats according to the majority, that is a problematic for them. So that was a, a point of uh, contention between East and West Pakistan. Who was Indira Gandhi? Indira Gandhi was the Prime Minister of uh, uh, India during, uh, so I cannot recall the exact time period, but she was the Prime Minister. What was her relation with uh, Mahatma Gandhi? Sir, uh, I am not sure about that. I will look into that. Why she has opted Gandhi as her surname? So I have not. Kya unki beti nahi thi? I am not sure about that, sir. I cannot comment on that. Thank you. Give your career a boost with CSSPMS preparation. 
from Civil Services Preparatory School. Join CSS PMS for on campus and online classes. Join us for your bright future. Civil Services Preparatory School, Jitan Markaz, Islamabad. Register now at 0316 570 Well, uh, talking to you, this very idea of one unit. Can you tell me, please, uh, who was the architect of this idea of one unit? So, uh, the one unit was given by uh, Khwaja Nazimuddin. Khwaja Nazimuddin, he proposed this idea. I'm not sure about that, sir. I will look into it. Okay, well, P. Zamil, uh, you recently read Animal Form. No, sir, uh, 1984. 1984. Can you please tell a uh, positive aspect of totalitarian regimes? People mostly know that the negative impact aspect of totalitarian regime. I would like to know what you got uh, from this very idea. Of what positive aspect are lies with the idea of totalitarian regime? So when it comes to totalitarianism, uh, totalitarian regimes, it is uh, uh, basically connotated with being a negative. But when it comes to the positives, the one that I can recall at the moment is uh, when it is a totalitarian regime, people do not uh, uh, aspire. People do not aspire to be against the government of the time. So this is one of the aspects that uh, huge agitations and huge uh, abrupt decisions of the people could not be erupted from uh, when there is totalitarian regime. What did you know about Code Hammurabi? Yes, sir. So these were the first laws during the Babylonic time period, and these were the first uh, written laws uh, in the criminology regarding civil and uh, civil rights and civic and, and criminal rights of the people. In Code Hammurabi, what sort of punishments attributed? The, I am not sure about the punishments uh, at this point in time. I am sorry, sir. Okay, what is a revisionist? Feminism or radical feminism? So when it comes to radical feminism, it is based on the idea that uh, patriarchy in the society should be removed and the society should be changed to its core. When it comes to the uh, uh, liberal feminism, if you allow me, if, if, if I can compare it, it talks about the egalitarian approach or the equality of men and women. So this is the difference and uh, radical feminism totally talks about the removal Elimination of patriarchy from society. When sin becomes the part of uh, Bombay presidency? I am not sure about that, sir. I will look Do into it. Do you have that. any idea of presidency towns no, in sir. British India? I am not sure about that, sir. You, you hail from sin? Yes, sir. So why Kaidiasm proposed the sin should be separated from uh, Bombay? Sir, uh, at this point, if you allow me to guess, uh, it was because uh, Bombay and Sindh, bo uh, uh, the population uh, distribution of Sindh and Bombay were uh, uh, quite different. And Sindh was mostly Muslim based uh, province of the country. So that is why Kadazan proposed that it should be changed. It should be demanded. Okay. What was proposed in Government of Indian Council Act 1892 about legislative and executive councils? Yes, sir. Sir, Indian Act, uh, Legislative Coun uh, Act of 1892 was actually the uh, enhancement of uh, Article 1860, 1861. It actually said that number of the members of executive legislature should be increased and uh, to the imperial legislature and for the provincial legislature as well. First, earlier it was increased from 8 to 20 in 1861 and then it was proposed that it should be increased in the provincial from uh, 20 to 60 uh, in the central legislative and 20 and I'm not sure about the provincial legislature but number of seats should mm. be increased that was the main idea of this council. Okay, well Canada is the colony British colony and British gave them self rule in 1847. Pakistan subcontinent was also British colony. They gave self rule in 1947. What is this idea of self rule? So the idea of self rule is basically uh, when uh, the uh, colonizers 
give them the uh, give their colony self idea of self rule in a way that they can bring up their constitution uh, according to which they can work upon their own they can have their own policies economic legal and social policies and that is basically essence of self rule thank you peace your injury is over so what do you think how was your performance sir pakistan affair mein thoda leg hai i should uh, focus on that other than that you know the comments would be with that knowledge gap hai theek hai there is knowledge gap pakistan affairs mein aur idhar bhi jo hai police reforms wagaira ke bare mein ye pakistan police order यू हैव ए पैची आपकी आपका जवाब था डेमोक्रेसी में यू यू ओनली ब्लेम फॉर दिस हमारे जो इस वक्त जो हालात है आर्मी आर्मी का रोल तो ठीक है वो है लेकिन हमारे अपने पार्लियामेंटेरियंस का पॉलिटिशंस का जो रोल रहा है उसके बारे में भी यू शुड यू शुड हैव मैंशन फोकस नहीं आपके टाइम्स आपको लूज कर जाती हैं फोकस टू द पॉइंट आपके वो होने चाहिए रिप्लाईज और फिर एक चीज़ और है ये यू वेरी लुक वेरी सीरियस नॉर्मली भी इसी तरह आप यानी आप दिस इज हाउ यू इंटरेक्ट अपने दोस्तों वोस्तों के साथ ये वो सर फैमिली में इतना तो नहीं होता बट दिस इज अमल इंटरव्यूज You should not look like this. Lively on a chair. You, you see, you have a smile. Hai. So you would look Mr. much better. Yeah. So gloomy look, not a gloomy look. Hai aapki okay. Hai. Jo hai. Ko ke khade, okay. 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 और दूसरा एक चीज़ और है आप जब वेन यू आर नॉट श्योर अबाउट द आंसर यू से मे आई गेस ये नहीं डेट शोज डेट यू आर नॉट श्योर अबाउट डोंट से मे आई गेस जैसे भी आता है आप जवाब दे दें अगर नहीं आता अगर नहीं है तो कह देंगे जी सॉरी और अगर आप समझते हैं कि ये है तो कह दें ठीक है कोई फ़र्क नहीं पड़ता उससे लेकिन मे आई गेस नहीं इसको अवॉइड करें और इस वक्त हमने आपको आपकी परफॉर्मेंस वैसे अच्छी रही यू आर वेरी आर्टिकुलेट और कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स दे आर वेरी गुड यू हैव द पोटेंशियल इससे बेहतर आप मार्क्स ले सकते हैं बेस्ट पी जमी हसन यू हैव अ गुड पर्सनालिटी यू आर वेल ड्रेस्ड योर पॉस्चर इज गुड देर इज अटल नॉलेज गैप Uh, I del- deliberately asked you about peer, not only because it's your name, but also because you've studied sociology. Yes, ma'am. So your answer should be more uh, intellectual. Okay, ma'am. मतलब ये कहना कि जी जाहिलों को ही हम रस्ते में लाते हैं और अब हमारे पास टाइम नहीं है तो जाहिल अपने काम पे और हम अपने काम पे. It's not a very convincing okay. argument. Peer had a was an institution in your society. they have played a certain role and now there are challenges to it because uh, peeron ko khud nahi ilm raha islam ka you know aur isliye zyada log ab it's become a business gaon mein jo bane hue hain so called peer you might be a genuine peer but there are a lot of uh, you know pseudo peers also so yeah. when i asked that question i expect an intellectual response rather than taking it as personal my intention wasn't personal but obviously the panel will ask you questions that may look personal but because you've studied sociology and then when you choose a personality please ensure that you take a personality which is not controversial, not controversial. Okay. and that is well known a uh, uh, professor nisar ahmed siddiqui not many people would know so don't put in a name that would put you in a spot okay चूज अ पर्सनैलिटी अब ये जो टॉप बिलेनियर्स जिन पर सारी दुनिया जो है क्रिटिसाइज कर रही है उसमें इलॉन मस्क भी है और जो उसके दिल में आता है वो कर लेता है कभी उसका हिट होता है कभी उसका मिस होता है 
So I would recommend because it's not about the personality, it's about you. Okay. So do you follow the same ethics and do you have the same indecisiveness that sometimes he's taking $8 and then he's taking $12 and then he's taking a backfire and then he's doesn't reflect well. Okay. So when you choose a personality, सोच के और फिर उस पर्सनालिटी के सारे एस्पेक्ट्स इलोन मार्स के कितने बच्चे हैं वो हाउ इज ही डीलिंग विद हिज चिल्ड्रन यू डोंट नो एंड दैट इज आल्सो एन इशू समबडी यू कैन आस्क सो चूज अ पर्सनालिटी दैट यू कैन डिफेंड एंड रिलेट टू योरसेल्फ ओके ठीक है बाकी यू आर वेरी गुड एंड यू हैव अ गुड पोटेंशियल वर्क हार्ड अपने इंटरव्यू की तैयारी करो आ, सबसे पहले अपनी इंट्रोडक्शन की शीशे के आगे खड़े हो एक पेज लिखो उसमें राइट मेन पॉइंट्स व्हाट यू वांट द पैनल टू स्पीक अबाउट यू यू सी इट्स नॉट रैंटिंग यू शुड बी वेरी फोकस कि दीज आर द थिंग्स विच आर माय स्ट्रेंथ्स विच आई नीड टू प्रेजेंट इन माई इंटरव्यू तो इंट्रोडक्शन अपनी जो आप देंगे उस पर बहुत सवाल होंगे ओके okay. सो so, इसलिए एक प्रैक्टिस करो शीशे के आगे बोलो यू हैव यू वेरी आर्टिकुलेट बट स्टिल द वर्ड्स यू यूज यू विल बी क्वेश्चन ऑन दैट बट इन शाह यू डू वेल विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट बाकी तो गाइड कर लिए एक पाकिस्तान अफेयर को अच्छा पढ़ लो और दूसरा ना जब बोलते हो तो बहुत ज्यादा हैंड मूवमेंट करते हैं मैम बहुत ज्यादा बहुत ज्यादा करते हो और अक्सर वक्त ना वो आर्टिफिशियल लगती है और थोड़ा सा ना पाकिस्तान अफेयर और करंट इकोनॉमिक क्राइसिस वगैरह को पढ़ लो ये तो हर बात बंदा कहता है जी एक्सपोर्ट बढ़ा दो ये तो लेमैन से पूछे तो उनको भी पता होगा लेकिन आपसे और किस्म की ओपिनियन एक्सपेक्टेशन है सर थैंक यू वेल प्रिंसिपल यू हैव ग्रेट पोटेंशियल गुड कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स बहुत अच्छी हैं आपकी पर्सनैलिटी का मैडम ने आपको बताया आपका जो नॉलेज ना एक चीज़ में आपको तो जब आंसर देना होता है ना रिटर्न आंसर भी या इंटरव्यू में भी एक चीज़ होती है डिडक्टिव रीजनिंग एक होता है इंडक्टिव रीजनिंग या तो आप आंसर फॉरन दें फिर उसके बाद उसके पास्टुलेट्स बताएं या पहले पास्टुलेट्स बताएं फॉरन कटक करके आंसर दें तो कुछ चीज़ों में आप थोड़ा सा ना उसको एक लेंथ टूल दे रहे होते हो फिर आंसर की तरफ जा रहे हो तो इस चीज़ को थोड़ा सा वो देखें दिस इज सेस आर्टिकुलेशन Okay, तो आप वो थोड़ा सा जो ना आप जो चीजें पढ़ चुके हुए हैं ना ये अकाउंटिंग से रिलेटेड या इन चीजों के रिलेटेड किसी से डिस्कशन करें okay. आप उनसे डिस्कशन करेंगे डिस्कशन में आपको खुद बहुत सारे आंसर्स पता चल जाएंगे जो टीचिंग होता है ना वो ट्वाइस लर्निंग होती है मतलब किसी को पढ़ाना शुरू कर दें फिर आप वो चीज सीखेंगे तो आपको बहुत मजा आएगा ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच